All right, so let's jump into this video and talk about our two-step launch control feature in our Fuel Tech Manager software. So when we're at the drag strip and we want to have consistent launches, we need to use a two-step rev limiter feature to hold us at the line at a consistent RPM. So when we launch, it's always going to be producing the same kind of results. So whether we're naturally aspirated, supercharged, or turbocharged, we can utilize this feature. It's gonna be very, very important for consistency. Now, setting it up, we need to make sure we have a clutch switch, or we can do this based on our vehicle speed, or we can do it based on a custom input, such as clutch pressure. I'm gonna go through all the different methods for our two-step launch control feature in this video. We're also gonna take a look at how we can set this up to build boost off the line if we're turbocharged. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of things to cover in different scenarios. So let's jump into our video here so we can get started learning how to work with our two-step launch control. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our two-step feature in our Fuel Tech Manager software. We have a whole bunch of things to cover here, so let's turn on the two-step feature and then start to dig into the actual calibration process of setting it up. So the first thing we're gonna do here is move into our map options. We can find map options. If we go here under engine settings, move down here into map options. Then we're gonna find under our drag race features. This is gonna be where we turn the two-step feature on in our software. So we're gonna go here and click it on and then we're gonna go and click off here and we're gonna find under the drag race features that the two-step rev limiter right here is going to be appearing. So this is gonna be where we do the programming and setup for the two-step. Now we have a whole bunch of different activation methods we can choose from for the two-step. We're gonna find here that we have a two-step button or clutch. We also have a CAN network if we're using uh, the FuelTech controller. We're gonna have a switch panel. There's gonna be different options we can check here. Um, we're also gonna have it based on speed or we can do it based on a custom input sensor. So we'll talk about all of these here. So uh, let's take a look first at our two-step button slash clutch method. This is probably the most simplistic way to enable a two-step. Now when we do this, we have to actually wire in actual clutch switch or a momentary button when we're going to wanna use this. And a momentary button would be located on the steering wheel. So in order to first wire it in and set it up, we're gonna go here into the inputs. We're gonna move in here and we're gonna select an available input that we've actually wired the switch into. In this case, I have mine wired into number 15 here on the white wires, and it's simply gonna be a momentary button that's on the steering wheel. So as soon as I push the button, it's going to ground the pin here, and we have to set it up like that. So what we'll do here is jump into number 15. We'll go to the default name. We're gonna move down here and set it up under two-step. And when we select this, we're gonna make sure we keep it on the default setting here, negative signal with pull up. And we're gonna make sure that this is gonna be configured correctly. Um, I'm gonna go here to write ECU, then we're gonna go and check the status of this and make sure it's actually going um, and showing that it's gonna be working correctly. So we're gonna move up here under the diagnostic panel. We'll move into the diagnostic, diagnostic panel tab, and then we can see here if we're looking at our inputs, and we're looking at number 15. Right now it's showing us it's designated as two-step. We've just labeled it there. Uh, I'm gonna go and hit my button right now. We can see it's gonna be showing a five volt circuit, which is an open circuit. If I go and push the button, it goes and turns on. We can see it actually is gonna go to approximately zero volt, which is gonna be grounding that pin. So it knows if I'm off the button, it's off. On the button, it's on. Pretty straightforward. So now we know it's set up and configured correctly. Let's go ahead and exit out of our Diagnostic. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.